This is SAT test 7 non-calculator question number 7. College Board gives us a quadratic expression and asks us to rewrite that expression and identify which option is equivalent. I could complete the square on this, but it's easier to use an old method they used to teach for checking that your simplifications were equivalent. I'm going to substitute in x equals 0, and at x equals 0, this is 0 plus 0 plus 4. So let's substitute 0 in here and see which ones also give us 4. 0 plus 3 is 3, 3 squared is 9, and add 5, that gives me 14. This is wrong. 0 plus 3 squared is still 9, 3 squared is 9, minus 5, that is 4. This could be correct, but I have to check the other choices. 0 minus 3 is negative 3, negative 3 squared is 9, plus 5 is still 14, and that is still wrong and negative 3 squared is still 9, and minus 5 is positive 4. So either b or d is right. Let's try substituting in 1. 1 gives me 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 4 is 11. The whole expression equals 11 when x equals 1. Let's try 1 in the two answer choices that are left. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 squared is 16 minus 5 is 11, and over here 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is positive 4 minus 5 is negative 1, which is not positive 11. So choice D did not match at 1, which means it can't be equivalent, because an equivalent expression has to be true, for, has to give you the same result for all x, and this did not give the same result for x equals 1. Choice B gave the same result for both 0 and 1, so that would be the correct answer. That's a fairly quick method of solution. Let's try completing the square, though, because that's the math that College Board wanted us to do. And it's good to review the math. Completing the square, I can take x squared plus 6x, leave a space for completing the square, plus 4. To complete the square, since the x squared has a leading coefficient of 1, I'll take half the x coefficient, half of 6 is 3, square that and I get plus 9. Since I just added 9, I have to subtract 9 to avoid changing the value of this expression. x squared plus 6, x plus 9 is x plus 3 quantity squared, and then 4 minus 9 is negative 5. So this is choice B, algebraically. That may, in fact, be faster, but there's also more risk of error if we're not comfortable with completing the square. So substituting in values is an excellent option if this looks difficult. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.